Oh, fall up in Flagstaff, it's a beautiful thing. You may be one of the many Arizonans who flock to the high country every fall to take in our colorful, beautiful aspen trees. Yeah, it's so bright. Well, there is an insect that is so small you can't see it in these images tonight. There's new concern with just how fast they're spreading and sadly killing these trees. Our Whitney Clark went up to Flagstaff where experts are trying to save the trees. Explode is really enormous. And so these yeah, you can see that so like the darker scales. They're called oyster shell scale, an insect with a waxy cover that's about the size of a sesame seed. Beautiful aspen has a white trunk. When these insects start to cover the surface of the bark, it starts to look dark or gray or dirty. Thousands of the scales feeding on tree sap can be powerful enough to bring down the aspens. It was in 2017 that this really came to the forefront, a new Aspen situation and issue. This is the lab at Northern Arizona University in Flagstaff where researchers are working with the Coconino National Forest to try to stop this invasive species in our forests. I want to show you one of the samples that you really have to get a close eye on to see the insects. Now while they have been on residential trees for years, experts say that it is spreading in our forests really at an alarming rate. In fact, oyster shell scale have been around for about 200 years. Scientists are lining up samples of infected stems to prevent trees from dying in the future. We're always the problem. We bring these new insects and diseases in and the plants aren't adapted to them. And so I feel strongly that um, it's our job to help try and, and solve that problem and not let species just go extinct. They're on the side facing up. Climate change is a factor here. Experts think the climate has shifted enough to allow the insects to take off and aspens are already stressed from the drought. There are still more questions than answers, though. Aspens make up about 1% of the Coconino National Forest, but the Forest Service says they are incredibly valuable and thousands are being hurt by the scales. The trees go beyond our pretty pictures. Birds call them home and they can naturally stop forest fires. The leaves of aspen just aren't nearly as combustible as the pine needles would be on pine trees. So when it hits that aspen and the grass that grows underneath that aspen, there's just not a lot of fuel there for fire to burn. As research continues, insecticides, prescribed burns, and cutting down some of the infected trees may help. Aspens are rare in our state, and rest assured, scientists are working to keep them in Arizona for decades to come. In Flagstaff, Whitney Clark, Arizona's Family.